So dating coaches have become very popular over the years. As a matter of fact, probably 25% of our businesses in the world of dating, both men and women, helping them to write profiles and more. But I'll tell you what, there's a type of dating coach out there. An article that I read in the New York Times disgusted me. Never, ever, ever hire this type of a dating coach. Okay, thank God there's not many out there like this. But you're not going to want to go down this road. Hey, David Essel here. David Essel's Daily Video Boost, exclusively free, the subscription. If you haven't signed up for the Daily Boost yet, oh my God, go to talkdavid.com. Talkdavid.com right now, and you can sign up for free. And Monday through Friday, you'll get one of these videos with tips to help you make your life better. Take notes, never trust your brain. So I'm reading this article in the New York Times, and they're interviewing this dating coach, which of course grabbed my attention because as a counselor and a life coach in the world of dating, relationships, finances, everything else, I always want to see what the latest trends are, what's going on, and this one set me back to prehistoric times. Now, what do I mean by that? This dating coach, actually, you pay her and she interviews you, she writes your profile, and then she goes out on a dating site and pretends she's you. She starts approaching people. She pretends that she's you. She starts a conversation as if she is you and leads this person to believe that they're actually corresponding with, well, guess what? Here's a radical idea. Someone who's on the site, not their dating coach. And then once she's qualified them, she turns them over. And then you, if you were her client, I hope you never will be, anyone like this, starts talking like it's been you all along. Isn't that disgusting? Talk about unethical. I think it's one of the most unethical things I've ever heard a professional in the world of coaching or counseling do. It blows my mind. And so then what? Now you're lying. The client is lying. Because when the person starts talking back to you, you haven't been engaged in them in conversation. They think all along it's you. And several of her clients said in the article they don't want to be named because they don't want their boyfriend or girlfriend to know that they weren't the ones communicating initially. Is this all a bunch of crap or what? Talk about unethical on both sides. The client agrees to lie. The coach agrees to lie. I don't think I need to say anything more. Hire a dating coach? Absolutely. If they say to you, I'm going to be you and I'm going to go out and find... End it, get your money back and move on. Hey, if I can help you in the world of dating, we've been working in this world for the industry for 40 years, 30 years as a counselor and a coach. Email me directly at talkdavid.com. You and I will work together in an ethical dating environment, helping you to find whoever it is that you want the type of person, the relationship that you want, and we'll move on from there, okay? Don't forget to share these videos all over the world. Let people know they're free, okay? Have a beautiful day. Everything else is at talkdavid.com.